Hello, welcome to the Fortress of Sound. This is a quick and dirty series tip for MPC Live users. Now, have you ever tried using a key group program on your MPC Live songs? Well, you may have noticed when you're in the browser mode loading a key group program that the audition mode does not do anything. You can't hear your personal sampled programs. And that's really unfortunate because when you're in the thick of writing stuff, you really just want to hear if your instrument goes with the song you're writing, right? So there's a way to do that. You can make an audition file for these and it takes just a few steps. And once you sort of get the hang of it, you can just do them all and then throw them in the, on the SD card and hear your instruments. So here's how you begin. First, let's use my 12 string program as an example. Uh, you're going to load up your instrument into a new project. All right. So essentially to make an audition file, what you're going to do is export an audio file from the MPC and we'll assign that to the audition file. So in this case, what you do is just record a quick sequence. You can either record just a single note or a series of whatever you want to do, whatever you can make in the sequence. Now, personally, I like doing a quick little riff, just sort of thing. Now, we can make that like one bar, just so it's really quick and simple, like this. All right. So now we'll go to Project at the top here, Export. We'll make this an MP3, just to save space on the SD card. Everything else can stay the same. Export. Now navigate to your programs folder where that original program is. And you need to name it exactly what the program is named, okay? So in this instance, it was 12 string. And that is uh, case sensitive. Be aware of that too. So 12 string, just like that. And save. Now that mp3 file is on my SD card which can be accessed in controller mode on, from your computer so that's the next step is you need to first go to browser places and eject your SD card or thumb drive whatever you're using for your space and your songs and we're going to go to menu hit the MPC chip icon we don't need to save we're going to be going into controller mode now on the PC Okay, you can see here on my computer, uh, this is my MPC SD card that's um, popped up from the USB um, via the PC in controller mode. Okay, uh, and here you can see programs folder. That's where I save all my key group program samples. And for me personally, I made a DGN folder just to uh, differentiate all the different things. Okay, so in your programs folder, here's, what you, here's the first step you have to do. You have to go to new, new folder, okay? And name this exactly as I'm stating here. Bracket, capital P, previous, okay? Closed bracket, just like that. The only way the MPC can see it is with those brackets and that specific name, okay? And this folder will sit in your programs folder forever. It's a subfolder. Now, you can see here, the 12 string mp3 file that we had created is right here. So what we want to do is click on that and rename it. Keep the name the same, but at the end add .xpn, xpm, enter. And that for that reason, the MPC is always looking for something with the exact name of the program. And that's why we have to do that. So now the last step is take that file go ahead and drag it right into the bracket previews folder and you can see it's in there we can listen to it here cool now it's in there and that's all we have to do on the PC you can go ahead and eject that just like you would in a normal thumb drive and then we'll go back into MPC standalone mode okay you can see um, it's just back into a new fresh program so let's go to our browser and check it out there's our 12 string program that we created. Let's see if it auditions. Nice.
you can see how useful this could be now when you could possibly you could set the audition to be on uh let's see auto you can enable that so when you were scrolling down through each instrument you could then hear all the previews exactly how they sound that's awesome so it's going to really help you improve like the instrument selection in the songwriting process when you don't want to get jammed up with loading things and they don't work and they don't sound right or and whatnot so there it is thanks for watching i hope this uh helps you and this is how you make auditions for your personal key group programs on the mpc live platform uh thanks again for watching i'm carl and this is the fortress of sound subscribe for more awesome quick and dirty tips take care now